Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. This is Catalyst of Camication Blang, and we are going on to Barrel Bay U in probably what I think I recall is my least favorite world in this game. It's full of Cat of Nine Tails, and you'll see what Cat of Nine Tails is in a bit, and it's the only enemy I remember the name of because it was kind of just like a strange name. I was just like, huh, it's Cat of Nine Tails. And it's literally spelled like that Cat O Nine Tails. Oh, and these Laffy guys, too. Come on, I know you're holding out. Yeah, thank you, buddy. <laughs> See, they mean well. They, they mean well. There we go. Let's get some nanners. Okay, let's go onward. And forward. And forward. And backwards. He's throwing bees. I'm not like... I mean, I had, I had the right idea. I had the right memory track, it just wasn't clicking to what Kong I needed to be. Let's do this again. Ah, I don't think I'm breaking the 99 life barrier. <laughs> I'm too unfamiliar with these levels and curiosity killed the cat is me looking for secrets. I'm not waiting for him to spit out nanners. Again, I had the right train of thought, but again, nada. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Okay, let's try this again. Let's do it the normal way. Which I think if we... Yeah, okay. I finally had memory serve me well. Oh, you... I did not go through all that to lose you, Rambi. Kill, 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 kill. Boom. <laughs> I love how it hits them twice. I don't know why, but it just does. You dingus. I can't see. Ah! Okay, okay. We're doing good at... Surviving like car crashes. This guy, I don't know. I can't think of a better word than car crash for some freaking reason. It's a rhino. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, we are back. We're doing this. We're shooting in the correct directions. And we're shooting at a bee. And we're killing a nanner stealer. I don't know. I don't know why that's one of the enemies. It's just like he steals the bananas. That's what he does. I remember I actually used to think I could farm bananas from him because bananas pop out of your Kong. That's how it works. And then it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I can just farm bananas from this. And then I realized that wasn't actually gaining any. I was just like staying at the same amount or like going down and going back up, pretty much. So, kill, kill, kill. So it was just kind of. It was. It was. Yeah. It was fun. Ah, it's a DK coin. Do you, have a, do you have a thing for me? No? Uh, where's the cannonball then? Where's the cannonball? I know. Oh, oh. Wait, we follow this guy all the way back, I think? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh! And then that has a cannonball in it. Okay. We didn't get hurt by that, so. I, I'm, I'm remembering some of my secrets well. Don't you worry. I've only done a lot of them one time before. Same held true for Donkey Kong Country 3, in fact. It's just like, I had played the game lots. I just didn't really 100% it. There we go, creme coin. Not doing too shabby for those, if I do say so myself. All right, and then we got these guys. I'll spit you the other way, but then you do a quick, quick eh, cool little loop around or whatever. Throwing spiders! Gah! Spi that's not that's not nice. Spiders are scary, man. I, I guess, I don't know. Um, Let's go do this, okay. So, I think, ah! I haven't even demonstrated them stealing the bananas yet. But, uh, yeah, I think another reason a lot of people like this game, too, is it's the lightweight character with the lightweight character. So you got two speedy characters alongside B. And, I don't know, I guess people just preferred that. I, I, which I can totally understand, which I think I'm in agreement there. That is a better system than having uh, Donkey Kong be heavy or little Mini Kong baby cousin thing. I don't know. <laughs> Kitty Kong, that's his name. I don't know, Kitty Kong, like, you got a lot of uh, abilities you could do between Dixie and Kitty in the third game, too, so it was like, it was nice. And a lot of them came with, uh, you know, having the big character and the little character, so I kind of like it. I, I very much like that game, what am I saying? Probably didn't even need to take that last shot down. Yeah, I probably could have shot on a diagonal and got it. Alright. I don't even know. I feel like I was looking at the timer for that last episode, and I'm like, oh man, I don't know how long that actually was. That was, oh, I don't know, I might split that into two parts. 
Diddy's doing some boombox in the creepy forest here. I feel like that's one of those creepy forests where like the trees come to life. Glimmer's galleon. There's a gloomy galleon in DK64. I'm drawing that conclusion again. Okay. How do I get all those bananas that are in the thing? They're in the wall. How haven't you drowned yet? <laughs> Looks like he's struggling. <laughs> he's like, I'm determined to walk underwater. Oh, God, that scared me for a second. Right, this level. How's it going there, buddy? Yeah? Doing good? I'm doing pretty good myself. I, I know there's an on guard somewhere, because that's a breakable crate. So we're going we're gonna to go find that on guard. You with me? Yeah? Thought so. At least I think there's an There should be an on guard somewhere. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I knew it was somewhere. I actually thought to myself that it was in the start of the level. That's kind of... It's a transition from, like, actually know what I'm, knowing what I'm doing and the game where I've done these things, like, once. And it's like, okay, yeah, the memories are there, but they're vague. They're, like, kind of like, yeah, it's it's in, like, this part of the level, kind of, through something like this. It's, it's kind of interesting to see, even for myself, at least. Uh all right, but that didn't give us an on guard. But this gives us. Yes, game. I can count the coins. There's two of them. Where's an on guard? Where's an on guard? I want an on guard. You've given me so much already, but I want an on guard. I want more. <laughs> I'm be spoiled about this. I want an on guard. I'm pretty sure he does things for me. Ah. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah, I guess, uh, cause that's, no, that's not a breakable crate, so whatever, but it's got a banana in front of it. I don't know, it's, it's throwing me left and right here. Wait a second, I, th I think we can go down there. Nope. Okay. So many secrets already. Remember, it was kind of like, they're slightly easier to like, see in this, even though they're not. <sighs> I didn't have time to move Lockjaw. I know this is your locker and all. I don't know what they're thinking. They're trying to think it's like Davy Jones' locker, but with fish being the locker. I don't know. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. They're always set on a direction, at least it seems like. So once they've picked their direction, they've made up their mind. It's one of those kind of enemies. Not like those snowmen in Banjo-Kazooie that like have some clearly great accuracy at predicting where you're going to be. I don't know how they programmed that, and I'm not happy that they did it. I can say that much about Banjo-Kazooie that I don't like, at least. It's probably one of the only negative things, and it's very, very nitpicky at that. I just got her back, or I just got both my Kongs back. Ah! Can you not? I'm trying to find secrets. You're not very secret friendly, you realize that, right? Okay, oh my god. Now we gotta go back through them. Is it even worth it? Because now, yeah, mm -mm, they're like right there. Mm, that wasn't good. Oh my god, yeah, but like in the first game, trying to find your way through like the secret hidden walls. Like, I know where they are now, but like they're just literally randomly placed there. These guys kill themselves and try and kill you in the process. I don't know if that's a very wholesome way of doing that. Oh my god, this place is a maze right now. I cannot see. There's always like one level like this in each Donkey Kong Country game too, with the uh, the like spotlight dude. In the first game, it was uh, I'm pretty sure it was just in the was it Squawks using it in the dry level, but the third one definitely had a uh, fish. Actually, that was it wasn't one of these. No, no, it was you had to hit the hit the fat fish and they provided light for a while. That's what it was. So they, they changed it up a bit, and good on them. Ah, these guys predict where you go. He's still alive. Ah, uh, which way are you blowing? Okay. Because either, they either blow up diagonally or vertically, horizontally. So. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. I believe. I believe. It's going to go fast. I think uh, somewhere around. No, I'm not going to risk it with him going around. Oh, diagonal? No, you're, you're a, a north south. Okay, I guess that's what I'll call those guys. I don't know. I'm, if you cannot tell, I am tired here. It's actually very late at night, and I am recording 
and my words aren't coming as words. <laughs> my thought, my trains of thought aren't quite spot on. I've also been recording for a while if you include the recordings I scrapped on Picmar, so. Ah! Oh my god. I don't even care about the secrets anymore as much. You know, that's, that's where it falls into, too. It's like, do you want to get them? Ah! Ah! No! Okay, I'm just trying to find a barrel, okay? I'm very barely guy, okay? I like my barrels. Oh god, are you horizontal or vertical? Okay. Or <laughs> horizontal and vertical. It just so happens I'm in diagonal. Diagonal or north south? You are a jerk. Oh my god, why is this place let me go everywhere? It makes it really hard to find anything. Oh! Where is it? He's north south. He's north south. Okay. Ah. Oh. Man, things at Kamikaze are like the worst. Oh my god! How am I supposed to get out of that? No. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm stuck! Mmm! These red guys can go die in a hole that's underwater. Because, I mean, they have to swim into it, so... Vertihort. Something like that. Okay. I think we're back now. Um, uh, we got we got thin fish. How would a fish like that even have, like, organs in it? Yeah, it's weird to think. I know, like, stuff like that exists, too. Man, the ocean is actually, like, the scariest thing to me. Like, the deep ocean, I'm, there's, like, species of fish and stuff that they don't even, like, haven't even discovered. It's just so deep to explore, and, ugh, just creeps me out. Oh, it's got this music, I love this music. I got the porcupine. There we go. Okay, I think this will be a shorter episode for now, because I am just at my limit for <laughs> trains of thought and thinking things to talk about, and uh, general awakeness. <laughs> I need to go get some sleep. But thank you guys for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more videos, comment if you wish, and we will see you next time on Donkey Kong Country 2. Hey, thanks for watching through the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please consider giving it a like or a comment if you have something to say. It all helps and I'm happy to oblige. Want to see some more stuff I've done? Consider subscribing or clicking one of the links below to other series. Also consider checking out some of my friends' reviews and videos. I hope that you all do have a fantastic day.